Okay. Hello, this is Nancy Jutton, and today is August 23rd. It's time for another rousing and exciting Learn More to Earn More show, and I couldn't be more delighted to be here today with a number of very, very special guests. And before I get the party started, I just want to make sure that everything's working on the technology side, because technology, as I've been very transparent about, has been a challenge for me. So if you are watching live and you can only hear us one time, would you please post in the chat that you only hear me one time? Because that would make me so, so happy that you can only hear me one time. But it would appear that everything is working great. Does that, it, it seems like that's working. Okay. So many people in this group want to get seen, heard, and celebrated on podcasts, broadcasts, and other virtual stages. And every single day, we have an opportunity. Opportunities may be knocking at our door unexpectedly. You'll run into someone in a clubhouse room. You'll run into someone at the grocery store. You'll run into someone at the mailbox. You'll run into someone in a Zoom room, and they'll say, well, what do you talk about, and why would that be of value to my listeners? What do you talk about, and why would my audience care? And in that moment, if you are able to rise up and respond to that opportunity, you just might get booked on a show that could be absolutely right for your message. And that would make it possible for you to attract more inbound client inquiries. It would make it possible for you to drive lead flow. You might get some consults on the calendar and you might even make some sales. We are now just on the precipice of starting quarter four for 2021. And everyone wants more of those things. Can I get an amen to that? Does anybody want those amen. outcomes? Amen. Yes. So that means we want to be ready for opportunity when it knocks. Now, I am not someone who um, spends a whole lot of time on Clubhouse, but Clubhouse is an audio platform. It's an audio platform where people stand out by virtue of how well they share their message because there's no video, there's no replay, there's none of this sort of thing. So not long ago, I actually went to a clubhouse room where leaders of the room were inviting people to step onto the virtual stage to share their one minute audio pitch. And the outcome of that session would be that one of these influential people would potentially invite you to be a guest on their show. Well, I was new to Clubhouse, and as soon as I got there, the host recognized my name and invited me to be on the stage. And I am one of those kind of people that says, you know what, I think I'll just lurk here for a while and get the lay of the land. And if at some later point I feel confident, I'll jump right in. Well, what I noticed is when people got invited to the stage, there was a bit of stumbling and bumbling along that went on. And people didn't actually know what to say or how to say it. And the host ended up being very constructive and thoughtful about, well, that was a good effort and it could be so much better if, and people got some lessons. So when it came time for me to decide if I was ready to share my message, I thought, you know what, I know how to do this. So I asked to be recognized. They asked me to deliver a pitch and here's what I said. I said, are you a speaker whose calendar went instantly blank as soon as the stay at home shelter or in place order was called into, pray, into place? Me too, but I wasn't gonna let that stop me from sharing my message far and wide whether or not I could leave my house. That's why I doubled down on podcast guesting and booked myself on scores and scores of the right shows to create a revenue rush of for my products, programs, and services. As a guest on your show, I will show your listeners what they can do to create these or even better results for themselves. My name is Nancy Jutton. I'm the Get Known to Get Paid Mentor. And if you've loved what you've heard, why don't we have a connect call on Instagram and choose a date for me to guest on your show? That's what I said. And then the host said, mic drop. Could you please be a guest on my show? And I said, I'd be honored. And then I found out that it was the top three business show in the United Kingdom. And I was actually talking to someone who had really large influence. And I hung up the phone and I thought, there is a lot of value to be ready to drop your message at the drop of the hat. Can you do it? If you were asked, would you do it? So what I wanna do now is I wanna break down what it is that I did 
And then I'm going to introduce you to some folks that actually know how to do it so that you can see how it's done. The first thing you wanna do when you have an opportunity like this is to ask an enrolling question or state some cool factoid or a piece of data that is so head turning that your ideal audience would immediately turn their head and say, wow, I didn't know that. The second thing you wanna do is connect to that problem or situation and insert yourself in the story and somehow demonstrate that you have credibility, you have some impact to share, you have some influence to offer, some perspective to add. And then you wanna to transition to something like, as a guest on your show, I will bring something to address the problem or something to add to the conversation or something to serve the audience, whether or not they choose to buy something from you or not. And then you can make it easy for the potential influencer to book you. And in the case of Clubhouse, that's all done on Instagram. In the case of other scenarios, you can use your own judgment, if it's an email address, if it's a private message, however it is you want to make it easy for people to get in touch with you. Because if there's anything we know about showing up in the world, we want to make it easy for our people to buy, own, and refer whatever it is that we're bringing to market. So to the extent that you can be singular in your focus about what it is that you want, all the better. So that is what it is to make a one minute audio pitch. And then of course, when you get a chance to be booked on a show, here's the other thing that's going to happen. The show host is going to say at some point or another during the program, wow, I so enjoyed every last bit of content you delivered. What a fabulous conversation we had. We really rose the bar about what people can expect about A, B, or C. I'm pretty sure our audience is super hungry to learn more about what next they can do to move in your direction. What do you got? And here again, you have to be ready to say that thing that you have to offer that will get those hungry listeners to take one more step in your direction. One more step in your direction. Because one of the things we have to realize is that when people are listening to podcasts, chances are they're multitasking and doing other things. They may be walking their dog, they may be mowing the lawn, they may be working on some other project. So if you give them 42 things to do, how many of them do you think they'll do? Probably none. But if you have one very specific thing you want them to do, people won't have any doubt about it. And if it's easy to spell and say, all the better. So with that said, I hope you're getting value already from the first seven minutes of this show. And now what I'd like to do is I would like to introduce you to some of these amazing Broadcast Your Brilliance Bootcamp clients who have thriving businesses of their own. And we're going to demonstrate how it is that they share their one minute podcast pitch. And if you are watching and enjoying, this might be your opportunity to get out a piece of paper and ask yourself, was that hot? Was that not? And am I going to do that thing they said they were going to do? Because I think that when you do that, you're going to get some really good learning here. And we're also going to have some fun. And you're also going to, to discover that there's some pretty darn amazing people that we are fortunate enough to work with. And I hope that you will be fortunate to work with them too. So who among you today on the screen would love to go first? Okay, Vicki, that would be you. I'm just going here to, I'm just turning my head here. And so I'm going to say, Vicki Delajoyo, so nice to meet you. You have the floor. One minute, please. Are you a speaker who suffers from compare despair syndrome and you're ready to kick that to the curb so that you can serve people in the ways in which you know you were born to do? What I want you to know is that it's the energy that you bring to everything that you do that matters most. It can push people away or it can draw them right to you. A lot of people think about energy in terms of healing arts, but there's energy in the stories that you tell, both in terms of what you say and how you say it. It's the combined energy that really makes your message land. My name is Vicki Della Gioio, and I support visionary speakers to amplify their charisma and deliver their message with presence and power so they can make the impact that they want to make. 
What's unique about my business is that I've drawn together over 45 years of experience in both chi and energy practices and as a director and theater performer. And I've combined the skills of both worlds to really amplify and, and support speakers so that they can really step into the spotlight and stand out. As a guest on your show, I'll share with your audience some unexpected and I think effective strategies to direct their energy so they can bring their audiences to the edge of their seats. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. Very, very brilliant. To the edge of their seats. Very <laughs> nicely done. Thank you. Um, I really think that energy is one of the biggest reasons that people don't succeed as speakers. They're so concerned about checking the boxes of doing everything they were supposed to do that they forgot to bring themselves to the message. <laughs> and that's really where it all the magic happens. Don't you agree? Absolutely. I think a lot of times people just get so caught up in their heads that they, it's not really landing and then they sort of forget the reason they're delivering in the first place. Well, I'm pretty darn sure that there are people in this audience who would love to recalibrate their energy so that they can make the most of every opportunity they have to take the stage. If there are folks that are hungry to take that next step with you, Vicki, what would be that next step that you would offer? Well, if you people, if, you, if any of you are interested in really amplifying how you do your speaking or how you communicate, I'd love to chat with you. So you can go to yourpowerpresence.com, set up a chat, and we can just have a little conversation. Now, where do we go? Yourpowerpresence.com. Yourpowerpresence.com. Very, very nicely done. I hope that people run and don't walk in your direction and learn to bring their energy to the stage because that's where the magic happens. Thank you so much, Vicki. Great Thank job. Thank you for the opportunity, Nancy. Appreciate You're welcome. It. Uh, I want to move to the next person, but I also want to call out Teresa Ashby, who is waiting to get in included in today's call. And for some reason, she's having a hard time being welcomed to the room. And I'm not exactly sure why, so I'm just going to try something to see if there's a way to help her. Um, only one time, she said. I'm just, just bear with me one moment. I'm blocked, from, I'm blocked from coming on. I checked all of my settings. I'll tell you what, Teresa, I don't have the answer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a separate opportunity to come on and do your pitch so that people can see here and celebrate you. And we will make our, that arrangement just as soon as this call is over. I'm not exactly sure what, what that's all about. And I apologize deeply, but I want you to um, be seen and heard and it will happen. I promise you that. Nancy, if you got your hands full, if you have her uh, email address, I can invite her while you're doing the next person. Oh, okay. I will play your admin. I'll be happy to be your admin. Okay. You can just put her email in the contacts. I can I can take care of it. Okay, I'm just gonna look for that. I think she has the, the link, but um, uh, just wondering if we can but, do it with anyway. Yeah, it's another way to I, test it. I, I have her. I have her link. I can oh. do it. Use the link. Oh, Di so here. Diane's gonna be your admin. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Teresa's with Kaleidoscope Media Services, and Kaleidoscope is one of those words that I can't spell intuitively to save my life. <laughs> So, Teresa, hopefully we can get this problem solved very shortly. Who would like to go next with their one-minute audio pitch? Can I call on you, Chris? Yes, you may. I was just trying to be, you know, polite. Not like, <laughs> like everybody else, just trying to be polite, right? Okay. Well, well fantastic. So, yes. Yeah, so, Chris, this is your golden moment, and you can. I'll just count you down. Five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic. Have you noticed the hype about automation, robotics, and artificial intelligence are nearly everywhere, but so is the real fear that those things generate. Fewer than four in 10 employees are actively engaged at work, and at the same time, AI and robotics are growing at 35% a year. I'm Christopher Hodges, the author of Noble Automation Now, and I'm the former European Intelligent Automation Leader for Accenture and Deloitte. As a guest on your show, I can help business leaders see what they can do with intelligent automation, that cryptic field. I can expose ugly mistakes and highlight some of the best practices that I've learned for implementation. And finally, I can help leaders better innovate, motivate, and transform their businesses with these powerful tools. 
the explosive potential of automation and artificial intelligence is equal to what happened with the PC in the 80s and the internet in the 90s. But in order to have that potential, we need to overcome the fear of the unknown and empower and build trust in our teams. I'd love to be a guest on your show, so please reach out to me at chris at nobleautomationnow.com. Very nicely done, very nicely done. And you have the kind of expertise that has a very specific niche. It's not everyone with a pulse, isn't that right? That is true. It's uh, specifically to companies who are looking to take advantage of these tools for their teams and to succeed. And so you having named and claimed who your people are, you choosing the right shows to be on is going to be really, really important because if you're talking to the right people, you could be talking to dozens or hundreds of people who absolutely need what it is that you have right now. And when you get into those conversations, chances are the host is going to say, well, Chris, this has been illuminating. You've lit up for us possibilities that we have to address that need urgent solutions right now. If we're hungry to take another step, what would be our best next step in your direction? And thank you for asking, Nancy. <laughs> if you'd like to take a next step, meaning you think this could benefit your company, or maybe you're in the middle of this, maybe the first thing you could do is send me an email at chris at nobleautomationnow. That's nobleautomationnow.com. And I'd be happy to send you a preview of my upcoming book, which is Noble Automation Now, which will be published in October. And I would also love to talk to you, hear what your concerns are, hear what's going on and see if we can work together. Brilliant. I hope that everyone who's watching who has curiosity about Noble Automation is running and not walking to chris at nobleautomationnow.com. Fantastic. I love Noble Automation Now because you can spell it, you can say it, and you know what the big win is for people who when they go to get it. And the fact that you are so darn likable, I would imagine that people are going to be rushing to your door. And I hope that that is the case. So great job. Congratulations. So love Thank seeing you. you step into your message. Thank you, now, Nancy. I see that Teresa has joined us. I am so happy about that. Teresa, would you like to be our next pitcher? Of course I would, and Nancy, and you know, I just gotta, I gotta get a shout out to this group because we all take care of each other and, and that's because of you and what you've created. So thank you everybody. It's a delight to be here and I'm super excited to share with you my, what I've learned and how to do this. So here we go. Are you an entrepreneur who is maxed out and don't have another billable hour to sell? Hi, I'm Dr. Teresa Ashby. I am the host of Heart, Hustle and Humor podcast. And I use the trifecta of those three to help tapped out entrepreneurs scale their business. In fact, my mission is to help 100,000 businesses scale by adding digital products such as e-learning courses, academies, and membership sites. As a guest, I will share with our listener, your listeners ways they can build a scalable model, leverage their intellectual capital, and generate passive revenue. I cannot wait to help your audience grow their business to the level they dream of. I'm Dr. Teresa Ashby. And if you want to chat, hey, catch me up. Go to D Facebook and DM me. Love to talk. Brilliant. So nicely done. So nicely done. And I also want to compliment you in a couple of other cool ways. What a cool background you've got behind you. Kaleidoscope Media Services. If you think adventure is... What is that? Oh, I can't hear you, Teresa. It says, uh, I have flowers over there too, but there we go. That's better. So you can see my flowers. It says, if you think adventure is dangerous, try routine. It's lethal. <laughs> <laughs> That's my motto. What can I say, Nancy? I love that. So one of the things I want to say about you and your camera confidence is that when I see you deliver your message with such authenticity and spirit, I just, you're my person, you know, it's just the way you deliver your message is almost as important as the message that you convey. You're so likable, you're so credible. And the fact that you have such a big mission that you're fighting for, it makes us all want to walk in step with what it is that you're here to do. And I hope that everyone who's watching that doesn't have an extra billable hour to sell 
is excited about taking a step in your direction. And so that just begs the question, in addition to having a DM exchange with you, is there some free gift or other step you want people to take where that they could run and not walk in your direction to satisfy their curiosity about how you can support them? Absolutely, Nancy. If everybody will just go to kaleidoscopemediaservices.com, you got to look up Kaleidoscope. And I know, I know it's a tough one, but at kaleidoscopemediaservices.com. And what we've created is a downloadable document for you that shows you actually the scalability model from being a consultant or coach and how you build a scalable model with adding a digital product such as an e-learning course. And it also tells you 10 reasons why it's important for you now to build that e-course. Brilliant. So something else I wanna call out about that is why now? Every single one of us has to have a why now reason that we need to do this thing that it is that we do. There must be urgency in order for people to wanna to actually prioritize taking that next step. And if you are someone who does not have an extra billable hour to sell, you have reached that now or never place where it is urgent for you to leverage in new ways. Who is the solution? Kaleidoscope Media Services, Dr. Teresa Ashby. And I would be remiss if I did not mention that don't you have a podcast of your own? I do, Nancy. Thank you. And it's called Heart, Hustle, and Humor. Please go take a listen. And if you think you're a good guest for that based off you how you see I work and how my personality is, would love for you to reach out also on Facebook. Just give me a message. Brilliant. Brilliant. Good job. Awesome. Love and, and thank you to Diane for making sure that there was a way to get her on this call. One of the things that this group is all about, I mean, we, we really do look after each other. We lift each other up where we're climbing. We open doors for each other. And when Teresa's on a podcast, she reaches back to the group and says, well, Vicki would be a great guest for your show or or Lynette would be a great guest for the show. And I do the same. So if, if you've been beating the drum by yourself, trying to get on shows, what if you had 10 or 12 other advocates that were opening doors for you? What then could happen in terms of expanding and, and amplifying your impact? That's what we do in the Broadcast Your Bones Bootcamp, in addition to naming and claiming our audience and naming and claiming and delivering our message in one minute or less. So great job, Teresa. Who's my next guest stepping up to the mic right now. Would it be you, Alexis? Sure. Awesome. Well, so nice to have you here. You are with the Goal Set Coach, and I am going to give you the floor, and I'm going to count you down. Five, four, three, two, would it surprise you to know that according to the American Institute of Stress, that 77% of people experience stress that affects their physical health and 73% have stress that impacts their mental health. That's bad news for high achieving women who want it all and more. I'm Alexis Lenahan, certified high performance coach. And since 2007, I've guided hundreds of formerly stressed out high achieving women from to heightened yet sustainable gear of performance with a healthy dose of self-leadership every day. As a guest on your show, I'll share the three biggest lies female business leaders tell themselves and uncommonly simple ways that they can transform from wheel spinners to propel their performance and lives forward to achieve the quality of life they wish they had yesterday. Best way to connect to book is via email at alexis at goalsetcoach.com. Well, I can imagine that there are hundreds of people in this community who want to have what you're promising yesterday. There's so much stress among women who have to do it all and can't find a way to accomplish it all without sacrificing themselves in the process. Absolutely. And you've touched and transformed quite a few lives in the last uh, period of years who were once struggling in this way, who are no longer struggling, but actually thriving. What's that like for you, making that impact in that way? It's incredible. It's it's a gift for you know uh, myself and my partner Marine that I work with. Um, it's absolutely we're inspired by our clients and by our community every single day. Well, I'm sure there there are people that would like to have what you are making happen for so many. 
what is the best next step for hungry listeners to take in the direction of your expertise so that they can satisfy that desire and get on the path to having more free time, more success with greater ease and more freedom to love life and work without sacrifice? Absolutely. If this is a problem that you want solved yesterday, then run, don't walk to ileadwithexcellence.com for a free masterclass that will offer five bite-sized concepts that you can implement immediately and will transform your life today. What was that URL one more time? Ileadwithexcellence.com. Do you want to lead with excellence? I ask you that question. Who does not want to lead with excellence? I lead with excellence.com run. Don't walk, check it out and see Alexis and Maureen on the other side and see how you can transform your life from blah to wow without having any of the stressful side effects. My, oh my great job. Great job. All right. So we've got two more here. We've got Lynette and we have Diane who is going to go next. Is it going to be Lynette? It's going to be Lynette. Lynette Hoy is coming to the stage. How are you today? I'm well. How are you? Looks like you're doing very well. I'm so glad you're well. I saw a post you made earlier on Facebook that had some really good health news for you. So I'm very, very happy that you are well. Are you ready to share your wow with our audience today? I am ready. Okay. I'm going to count you down. For three, two. As an entrepreneur, Are you sick and tired of being a well-kept secret and ready to be a well-known expert smiling all the way to the bank? When my clients ask me, when I ask them what their biggest pain point is, they say, no one knows who I am. My name is Lynette Hoy, founder of Fire Talker PR, and I've helped thousands of small business owners through my programs to garner media placements they've leveraged for smoking hot growth. My clients learn how to seed and nurture a garden that's a visibility capital that flourishes into a plethora of bounty the media can't ignore. They are thought leaders in their industry and they're a go-to for the media and their next client. As a guest on your show, I will share three must-have tools every business owner should be implementing to get noticed and paid. I have a special gift today for our listeners as well. Oh, you do? Well, who doesn't want to get noticed and get paid as a small business owner? Everyone wants to get noticed and get paid. If people love what you just said and want more of what you are delivering, what is that next best step for them to take right now? (laughs) Next best step is to email me at Lynette, L-Y-N-E-T-T-E, at firetalkerpr.com, F-I-R-E-T-A-L-K-E-R-P-R.com. And in the subject line, put 15 free minutes. And I'm going to provide a strategy session to help my folks that uh, jump in on this with me to become more profitable. Excellent. And so um, I have one other question for you with If someone just heard this pitch and is thinking, I need an expert, a guest faculty member, someone who can deliver that kind of magic and get booked on their program sooner versus later, where can they best connect with you to make that calendar booking happen? Through my email, which I just gave a moment ago, Lynette at firetalkerpr.com. And if you want a quick shortcut, you can also text me for a real immediate response at 415, that's the area code, 694-3004. And I would love to be someone that truly helps out those in need. Brilliant. Great job, Lynette. Congratulations. And now it is time for Diane to take the stage. Diane Ployce, the Rolls Royce of Fran's Choice, right? (laughs) Something like that, yes. (laughs) Welcome. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Happy to be here. So uh, tell me, what's your one minute pitch? Here is my one minute pitch. Have you lost that loving feeling for your job? Been downsized or concerned about job security? What if 
you never had to worry about being fired or laid off again. Hi, I'm Diane Ployce, and I match people with their best fit franchise opportunity. Think of me as your personal free franchise fitter, aligning your goals, skills, and interests. <clears throat> when you book me on your show, I will debunk the common franchise myths and tell you what franchise companies are looking for in their next franchisee partners. <clears throat> Please check out my profile on LinkedIn for a wealth of info. My name is Diane Ployce with FranChoice, which some say is the Rolls Royce of franchise consulting. Brilliant. Nicely done. Thank just, you. just curious, Diane, how many lives have been touched and transformed as a result of you finding people their perfect franchise fit? Is it hundreds of people that you've touched and, and transformed over the years? Since I have been doing this for close to 17 years, it would be safe to say that yes, hundreds of lives have been changed and impacted, yes. And I love the way you started with the whole um, never get fired again, um, lost that love and feeling for the job that you can't stand. That my friends is what you call it, the kind of questions that people, her ideal client is likely answering yes to those questions. So as you think about what your questions that you wanna ask when you are gonna be booked, always think about what you hear from your own clients. They're probably saying the very same things that you're going to get to use as gold in your message so that you can attract more people to your care. So, um, Diane, I think I know the answer to this. I think you've been pretty clear about it. it. The best, those who are thinking that they don't want to be beholden to, to a boss anymore, they don't want to be fired anymore, they never before considered a franchise, but now maybe now is the time. What is the best next step for them to take in your direction? Is it going to LinkedIn? They certainly can go to LinkedIn or they can simply enter quickchatwithdiane.com, which will take them to my calendar page and they can book a chat there. Quickchatwithdiane.com. Easy to spell, easy to say, easy mm -hmm. to remember. If you are looking for a perfect franchise to create the next best step in your life going forward, what are you going to do? <laughs> what was that URL one more time? Quickchatwithdiane.com. I love that. I would be remiss if it, I did not mention that Diane Ployce was showcased in the Thrive Global blog for the Huffington Post last week. And what was the headline for that? The headline read something like, Diane Ployce says franchises are more than fast food and French fries. And so here was what was so cool about that. The Thrive Global blog for the Huffington Post has 668,000 daily readers. And her story was showcased in front of all of those readers. And if you Google her name, chances are that story will pop up. And why does this matter? Because anyone serious about doing business with a consultant, a, a successful business owner, they will certainly go to your website, but they will also Google your name and see what comes up. And if a favorable story, a favorable podcast, a favorable television episode shows up where you are being brilliant in that moment, delivering value, what happens for people is that they get to know, like, and trust you even before they get on the phone. And that means that when they get on the phone with you, they are pre-sold as to the value that you bring. So you have a far greater likelihood of converting that inquiry into an engagement. And that engagement will turn into revenue flowing your way and transformation running their way. And that is the beautiful thing about taking action on about what you learn. You know, I have to give a shout out to Michelle Tennant, who is a member of the Raise Your Voice, Make Your Impact Facebook group. I met her over 10 years ago, and we lost touch, but I, I had a connection with her during a group networking call. And I said, there's Michelle, I haven't seen her in 10 years. She threw out that she was accepting submissions to this blog. I posted my own story there, loved seeing that. 
But what I do is I bring these opportunities to my students in the Broadcast Your Brilliance Bootcamp and I challenge them to act on them so that they can be seen, heard, celebrated in a much bigger way. Because what is one of my biggest mantras? My work deserves a much wider audience and my business is worthy of sales beyond expectations. Is it valuable to be in front of 668,000 people in connection with what it is that you do and how it is that you do it, Diane? What is your answer to that? It's a resounding yes. <laughs> and, and what ended up happening? I mean, I happened to notice that you posted that article on LinkedIn, and I just have to compliment how brilliantly you use LinkedIn to advance your expertise and your contributions in the professional community. But the last time I checked, there were like 28 comments and 45 likes or something like that. I was pleased. Yes, I put it out to the community on LinkedIn. I also posted it under the featured section on LinkedIn. And because in that message, I talked about several associations such as Toastmasters and the Bay Area Consultant Network, also my college, the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point, I let my connections at all of those institutions know as well. And that was so savvy and so smart and so strategic. If you want to go alone, go alone. But if you want to go big, go together. And you were so smart in telling stories that were relevant to these important influential groups. And when I was reading the thread, I actually saw some people ask some serious questions as if they were really serious leads. Did you discover that there were some good leads in there? Well, I think people like to lurk a little bit and learn, and then they raise their hand. So for example, today, I had someone contact me uh, who is international, actually in Uruguay. We had a wonderful Zoom call, and he would like to engage in the process. So you never know when or where someone is going to raise their hand and say, I would like to chat and see if it makes sense. I couldn't agree with you more. You know, I was just reflecting on that very idea this morning because, uh, thank you, Toastmaster, Linda May Vorthman and Rebecca Pierce Murray are also Toastmasters. And I am a Toastmaster. And in January of this year, as a leader of the Raise Your Voice, Make Your Impact Facebook group, I just show up every week, deliver a live show, bring messages that I think will serve people. I do it with heart and smart hustle and spirit. Thank you, Teresa. And sometimes people are highly engaged and sometimes you have no idea what's happening, but you could have knocked me over with a feather when Linda Mae Worthman and Rebecca Pierce Murray reached out and said, we would like to invite you to deliver your podcast guesting for good and profit training to the accelerated, to the accredited speakers program within Toastmasters International. This was the very first time I was invited to do that. So I created this talk just for them. And I've since been invited to give that talk or something like it to 12 or 14 other organizations. And it's only August, at least once or twice a month, it seems I'm delivering this talk. And what happens because of it? Inbound client inquiries, leads, connections, invitations for joint venture partnerships, invitations to be a guest lecturer for someone's mastermind, uh, clients that join me in the Broadcast Your Brilliance Bootcamp. When you have a talk or something that you're known for that you get invited to give again and again, amen, you know what happens? You get invited to give it again and again, amen. And what do you know? You have wider and more qualified audiences of appreciative people who are listening, who now recognize you as the go-to person who talks about that. So I am just so thrilled for each one of you to be demonstrating what it is to be seen, heard, and celebrated for the expertise that you have and to be able to drop a soundbite at a moment's notice to deliver your value. If you had one thing to say, just one thing to say about the value that you've gotten from the Broadcast Your Bruins Bootcamp and how perhaps it may be different from other courses that you have taken, would you be willing to share at least one thing that others who might be sitting on the edge of the pin wondering, is this for me? Do I want that? Is this something I wanna do now? Is anybody willing to step up and say one thing? Diane, why don't you go first? Sure. 
I would like to say that Nancy's energy and enthusiasm is absolutely contagious. Thank you. Who would like to go next? Is that you, Chris? I think Vicki had her hand up. I'll go after Vicki. Okay, go ahead, Vicki. Um, I think it's uh, having in a, to, to have the level of support in a group program of having a sort of a co-pilot as we are each of us up-leveling the work that we do is amazing. There's a way in which you deliver, that Nancy delivers an incredible um, uh, sense of, of presence and being able to really uh, know what your next step is. And she's doing this on multi-levels in multi-strategies that all have to do with pod podcast guesting and more. So. I think it's uh, partnering would be the word. Brilliant. Thank you so much. And you, Chris? I'm afraid if I compliment Nancy again, her head's going to explode. So my compliment is more generic and it, or more general for the group. All the people I've worked with, only some of which are on this call, of course, with Nancy, I didn't know anybody right on this call. And it, it's amazing to hear and see the little puzzle pieces from what everyone's doing and how it kind of helps you do what you're doing. Because the people on the calls are professional, they're motivated, they're clear. Well, okay, present speaker accepted. They're in motivated, <laughs> clear thinking thought. And I've benefited hugely. And Nancy, you do a good job of not having to be star of the show. And you let everyone kind of contribute. And then we have these little back channel chats and everyone's helping everyone. That's pretty rare. I, I've found that very valuable. Very good. Thank you so much. Anyone else like to say something? Oh, Lynette, go ahead. I like to call Nancy the constructive criticism maven. And the reason I say that is because when you're a high producing business owner, it's not your first time around the block and you stumble and you fall. It's wonderful to be around someone that not only lifts you up, but tells you what you need to hear. And that's not always easy for some people, but I thrive in that environment. If I feel like I'm tripping a little bit and somebody's saying, okay, I'm gonna help you continue to trip, that's a, that's a real gift. And to say it as straightforwardly as you do, but yet not in a manner that, that depletes someone is a gift. So you are the constructive criticism maven and bravo. Thank you, Lynette. That is that's a really good compliment. That's yeah. a good one. It kind of reminds me of that movie, As Good As It Gets. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that movie? It was just, I, what, what, what's the line? It was like, I can't remember, but it was like. Well, I know, that's why I'm laughing. I know exactly what you, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the line, sell, sell crazy somewhere else. Wasn't, wasn't, no. wasn't that no. else? <laughs> well, I think that in that movie, he says to her, you make me want to be a better man. Yeah, that's what he yeah. says. Yes. You make me like, be that's man. a really good that, compliment, you know, to be the constructive criticism maven. I like that. <laughs> Teresa, well, would you like yeah, to say Yeah, I, I have to jump in here because I agree with everything. I, I, I think for me, you know, I've, I've got a lot of years of schooling. I've got lots of initials behind my name, a PhD, and I'm always looking to get into a room of people that are more brilliant than you. And it, it, that's, that's important for me because I want to learn from somebody. And, and from you, Nancy, your method of teaching us is so different. I, I'm quite frankly tired of going to events where they teach you the things you need to do, like, oh, you need your messaging. Oh, you need your bio. And then they just tell you those things. Instead, with you, you're like, yeah, you need a 50 and 100 word bio. But guess what? You teach us how to do it. And then you review it with us, we put it out to the group, and we dig in until it sounds absolutely so amazing and wonderful and engaging that it gets us where we want to go, not just in podcast guesting, but in every aspect of our business. So I want to thank you for taking it to that level of where I love every time I get to show up with you and this group. I move forward. Thank you. Here, here. Thank you. And um, Alexis, would you like to say anything? Yeah, I echo everything that everyone just said. It, you know, it, it's, it's especially what Teresa just shared. I feel the same way. I've taken so many online courses, 
We've hired people to help get clarity and dialing in our message. And what I love so much is that it's important for you that we feel connected. Like I've worked with copywriters that they're like, no, no, this sounds really good. And I'm like, but it doesn't feel like us. I feel like every bit of work that I've done with you and this group, you get so many different perspectives um, as Chris shared and but you can keep playing with it until it really reflects you and your business and you feel good in it. And I've gotten so much clarity in the last 12 weeks, uh, you know, working with you in this group that it is, uh, you know, absolutely invaluable to me, my business and the future of our, of our company. Well, that's beautiful. You know, what I promise for folks when they come into this program is that you'll book yourself on four to 12 shows and be seen, heard and celebrated and in venues that are right for your message. That's the, the overarching promise. What I don't talk about, but perhaps I should talk about more is all the kinds of things that you've all just said, because it's what happens along the edges and around, it's what happens along the edges. that's the real magic that happens. And I see relationships forming here that are going to be lasting. One of our members, Andrea Bullard has been so incredibly generous. She invited Vicki to present to her best clients. And that is opening up a whole bunch of new doors for Vicki to consider a whole new audience she'd never considered before. She, I mean, we're sharing the Thrive Global link and reviewing each other's stories to make sure they're awesome before we make submissions. How many times have you said, I wish someone would just take a look at this before I hit send to give me the confidence that I've really nailed it. That's what it is that I do as a leader of a program like this. And so I just want to say thank you all for coming along. And I'm super excited that we get to continue our work together. And for those who are sitting here thinking, wow, what a cool group of people. I want to be part of something like that. Well, guess what? Starting tomorrow, well, there's two opportunities straight ahead where you can actually get some strategic and tactical advice about being a brilliant podcast guest. Tomorrow, the 23rd, 24th of August at noon, I'm going to be delivering a one hour masterclass called podcast guesting for good and profit. And you're all invited. It's free. It's fabulous. It's high value. And you can see me deliver these useful tips and tools and strategies that you can start deploying now so you can make your fourth quarter brilliant. And I'm starting on September 15th. 13th, I'm leading the podcast visibility live lab. So if you were the kind of person who needs a bite-sized homework, a bite-sized training, a bite-sized homework, and a quick win, and you were ready to join with me for five days in quick succession to get that transformation, then join us for the podcast Visibility Light Lab. Both of them are free, but I'm going to be delivering incredible value, and I'm going to be serving you to the highest level of my possible, what's possible. And when you complete either or both, and do both if you like, if it feels right for you to join us in the next round of the Broadcast Your Brilliance Bootcamp, we start on the 29th, and I'll tell you more about that later. But for the short term, I just want you to come along for the free and fabulous trainings that are coming up so you can get a deeper dose of the Nancy magic so that you can be the podcast dream guest, the top host can't wait to book, and you can drop your own one-minute podcast pitch or one-minute written pitch and actually have it make a connection with people that can't wait to say yes to you. That is my invitation. And I hope that everyone who's watching decides to invite all of their friends, the more the merrier, and it's gonna be awesome either way you go. So any parting thoughts before we close up today's show? You can just raise your hand or speak up if you like. Go ahead, Lynette. Sandra Yancey of eWomen Network said this. I heard her say it almost two decades ago and it flows with what Teresa said. If you're the smartest one in the room, get a new room. Mm. And that's why this room is brilliant for me. And working with you, Nancy, where you and I come from similar backgrounds, you know, I feel that your direction and what you're doing is something I want to emulate for my own business. So I feel very grateful to be in the room with you. Thank you. Any other thoughts? Nancy, the one thing that as we were all sharing with uh, the reason we're here and why we're getting so much value out of it. I, I think there's another piece is for me, I put out there with you and you asked me for my targets and my commitment and, you know, what am I going to do while I'm with you? And I had agreed many things, but the one thing was 
how many guest spots are you going to get? And I said, starting in my fifth week with this program, I was going to start booking two a day. And I just want you to know, because of you and this group, I've been booking two a day or two a week. I'm sorry. I'm going to do two a week. So two a week and that's happening. And I'm just, that's, that's, Hey, this is why we're here together. So thank you for that. Well, I am so proud of you. And I know you were going to submit for the Thrive Global blog. And you said during one of our calls, hey, next Wednesday, I'm going to make this submission. And I remember coming at you on Tuesday with my velvet boot of accountability. And I said, hey, you said tomorrow you were going to take care of this. How's it coming along? And it's submitted. <laughs> and it's like, if, if you make commitments, if you make and keep your commitments in courses, chances are you make and keep your commitments in life and you likely keep, make and keep your commitments in business. And if we can all hold each other accountable to a higher standard of seeing through what we promise, who knows what wonderful things will happen that are beyond what any of us really expected in the first place, which one of the things that I think is the most beautiful thing about this is the relationships that form among and between all of us, because I can see us being connected long after the courses are complete because they're just such amazing people. I mean, you are all amazing people and I'm just so honored to be in your presence. So it's really been, it's really been a lot of fun for me and the most rewarding group I've ever led. And I'm just so excited to be able to share you all with everyone who's watching. And if you have a podcast or a broadcast who looks for, who's looking for someone like any of these fine people, run and don't walk to Alexis Linehan and Lynette Hoy and Christopher Hodges and Vicki Delajoyo and Diane Ploys and Dr. Teresa Ashby. You will not be disappointed. These are the podcast dream guests that you've been dreaming of that will make your life so much easier because they're media ready, they're media savvy, they're on message, and they're ready to go like pros because anything less is simply not good enough. Any more parting thoughts before we close this off for today? Looks like we've nailed it. I love you all. Thank you all who are watching. If you are live watching the show, go ahead and post a comment, a like, um, anything you want to share. If you're coming by replay, put hashtag replay and say, boy, oh boy, I can't wait to get Alexis Linehan's free gift. And when can I talk to Diane about franchise fit for me? And when can I escape the hell of billable hours by having an academy, a community, or a, um, one of the, what's, academies, a, there's three. Academy. Virtual academies, membership sites, and e-learning. Membership That's sites and e-learning, and and if you we need to bring more presence to your stage, you need Vicky. And if you need to talk about intelligent automation for your C-suite executives, you need Chris. And I wish all the other boot campers were with us today, but some of them are busy making other magic happen. And, you know, that's kind of what we're hoping for is that people are going to have more consults on the calendar and more clients to serve. And sometimes people are busily catching up with all their great outcomes. So with that, I just want to say thank you all for being here. If you are serious about learning more about podcast guesting, remember tomorrow I'll, is the live call at noon. I'll drop a link in the chat. And then starting on September 13th, it's the five-day podcast visibility live lab, whichever format suits your schedule, consume both or either, whatever suits you best. But tell all your friends because we are going to create a movement for podcast visibility that's within your control instead of having to hire an expensive booking agency. And if that's exciting to you, well, I would love to be your guide. So with that, I say thank you all. And I will see you here next week. I'm just checking my calendar to see who's coming next week. And I think it's a solo show with yours truly. So mark the date and time, one o'clock, learn more, earn more. It's always fun. And I thank you all so much. Bye-bye for now. Let's see. I think I stopped the stream. Let's see. You guys did great. Still says recording. Oh, I'm still recording. Oh. I'm, I'm sure I'm still recording. I just stopped the screen. I feel like this couldn't have gone any better. How are y'all feeling? It was good. Yeah. I don't think we have to do another round robin of testimonials unless you want to. It's too bad you suck so bad at this, Nancy, and everyone just keeps. What's that? 
it's too bad you suck so bad at this that you can't find anybody to say anything nice. <laughs> I have a, I, have a I, I gotta tell you, man, I, I was in a cold sweat panic because for some reason there was something between my Facebook and the Zoom and everything. And I'm in a, I'm in a, I don't know, I'm like getting on early and I'm in a full, my pits are sweating. Like, <laughs> oh my, I'm disappointing Nancy right now. This cannot be happening right now. Um, but I did have a, a very long list of stuff for of everything I've learned for my testimonial. So, um, but. Uh, do do you want to try, do you want to, want to do a couple? I, I would be more than happy to do a couple for you unless you think the other one is fine. I, I just, up to you. Um, would y'all mind if we continue? To I, I am going to depart. I got some phone calls to do. It's been fantastic. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Chris. Nancy, that's, do that's you need me? Hey, before Kurt. I leave, do you want me on the screen just for another face or do you? Does no, it matter? We're, it's fine. You're awesome. Oh, no, I'm, okay. So, but if you need another screen filled in, I'll stay here and, and smile. No, it's okay. Okay. It's okay. Good. Yeah. All right. Take care. <laughs> Bye-bye. And thank I'm, you, I'm Nancy. Gonna, gonna thank too. you, everybody. Thank Bye, you, Bye, Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye for now. Uh oh, Alexis, your mouse died, and you can't unmute. That's so funny. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, uh, uh, Nancy, I can also. You want me to write it so you have it down so you can use it? Why don't we do that? I feel full. Yeah. I feel okay. really full. Good. And um, yeah, let's just do that. I'll make it yeah, easy. And, and then the other thing is, of course, you get to be interviewed on my show as a solo person. So we're, we'll we'll figure that out we too. We need to square that away. Okay. And, um, Alexis, did you want to say anything or are you good? You're good. Okay. <laughs> Love you all. This was awesome. All right. Bye. And thank you so much. I'm glad we got we got you back in, in your I, that was I was I really wanted you to be here. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye.